I do want to talk about the tropics. Yes, hurricane season is not officially here, but we are watching something in the eastern Pacific. And usually when something is in the eastern Pacific, we're thinking well, we don't care about it. The reason we are watching this one and it's named Agatha is because it's direction it's moving and where it might head as we go into the upcoming work week. So notice right now it's not moving very fast, but it is moving five miles an hour, still kind of north northwest, but it is going to start to make a more of a northerly and then eventually a northeasterly turn over the next several days and start to make its way towards Mexico and then perhaps even get uh, crossing into portions of the southwestern Gulf. So you look at the track of this thing. It is forecasted to become a hurricane and then make its way into Mexico as we go into early this upcoming week. So Monday into Tuesday notice still just right in here and then weakening. But then notice the National Hurricane Center now highlighting the far southwestern Gulf of Mexico for development. Now the chances of this developing right now is about 20%. The chances are very, very low just because there's still so much uncertainty and it's still really unclear on how much of Agatha is actually going to make it across uh, the land here of Mexico and then into the southwestern Gulf. So right now the chances are extremely low. Really the concern level for us extremely low uh, at well as well at this point. Now the other question is, well, if something does try to develop here, where does it want to go? Some guidance takes it to the east towards Florida. Those are the weaker solutions and then some of the stronger solutions try to bring it up maybe into the a little bit further into the Gulf. But either way you look at this, this is still five, seven days away from now of it being in this portion of the Gulf if it ever does get there. So there's still a lot of time to watch this thing. You can see with our GFS and Euro, they show similar scenarios. It moves into Mexico and then they just kind of diverge on what they want to do with it. Uh, but notice by next Thursday, so we're talking quite a ways from now, if there is anything, it'll still be in the extreme southwestern Gulf. So we just kind of reiterating, we got a long time to watch this. One of the interesting things with Agatha, anytime you get a storm that tries to cross basins, this is the eastern basin. And remember, it has a whole different list of names. The Atlantic has its own list of names. Uh, if it does cross over Mexico, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. There's big mountain range right here, but the current track of this could take it in more of a, uh, a lower terrain area. And let's say it does move over that lower terrain. Maybe that center circulation doesn't get completely disrupted and it gets back into the Gulf and tries to spin back up. Well, if it does that, it would keep the name Agatha. But if it gets over this mountain range here, gets shredded, and then just some of the moisture and rain gets back in the Gulf, and then that tries to reorganize, um, it would get an entirely new name and it would get the Atlantic name of Alex. So that's just one of those interesting things we'll have to watch and see if it does try to reorganize. Is it Agatha or is it Alex? We just got to wait and see. Overall message though, it is no immediate threat to the United States. We'll watch it long term, but we've still got into the middle part of next week before the thing ever even gets close to the southwestern Gulf. So just a reminder that hurricane season, yeah, it's nearly here. It does officially start on Wednesday. So notice 